see these labels all the time. Right. And in our business, we look for them very carefully because we can't be in a rainstorm and have something not work or a hurricane and not work because it wasn't waterproof. So waterproof or water resistant, what's the difference? And how do you know the product that you're buying can handle water at all? CNET, Senior Editor Bridget Carey is here to help us sort it all out and tell us what makes some products waterproof and some products water resistant. Good morning, Bridget. How are you? Hey. Hey, good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, let's talk about this because there is a huge difference between those two labels, right? Oh yeah, you have to do a little bit of homework before you just trust what you see on the box because a lot of companies will market with the term waterproof, but really there are standards to how water resistant something is. And what you and I think of as waterproof isn't always waterproof with being able to be submerged. So what you want to do is look for something called the IP rating, the International Protection Rating. And it's a, it's the words I the letters IP yeah. next to a number, and that number needs to be at least a 5 if you want to put something like a speaker outside and and be, let it handle the rain. Uh, uh -huh. Five can handle a little bit of a of a sprinkle moisture. Uh, if you have IP6, that can handle um, getting rinsed on, um, you know, more splashing. But if you want really waterproof, that's IP7. That's being able to be submerged in at least a meter of water. I do. So you have some misleading uh, advertisers. What are some of the things that you found that just don't stack up? All right, so you want to watch out for the Philips Shockbox Mini. Here's one we had. We tested it. Uh, the Shockbox is a little shocking because it actually has the word <laughs> waterproof on here. But when we dunked it, it didn't work. And sometimes you're going to see in the marketing that they even float in pools. So, yes, it is a floating one. But if you have a kid who wants to sink this underwater, you can hurt the, um, the audio quality out of it. Also, we found one. Uh, Monsters uh, sells one called the Superstar Back Float. Uh, it's cool because it floats in the pool. But just be responsible w with it. It's IP6, so it can take splashing in the pool. But if you dunk this, it really can't handle oh, being Bridget. submerged. Okay. All right. Well, see, thanks for the truth in advertising there. Bridget Carey with CNET. Because if it's in the pool, you know it's going to go under. So that's a little misleading. All right, Bridget. Thanks for taking the time to sort it out for us.